Hi! Today we will be reading The Plant Whisperer, written by Sayantan Datta and illustrated by Bhavya Kumar. Let's begin. Jayashri, a young engineering student, looked at her noisy machines. Ayo, so frustrating, she thought. She missed Pati's garden. The garden had birds, trees, plants, grass. Best of all, the garden had Trini, her best friend. Trini's branches were like arms on which she climbed and played and slept. Jessie called her father. Daddy, I am going to study plants. Hmm. Daddy was an engineer and didn't like it. I can convince him later, Jessie thought. She moved to a college to study plants and study she did. She finished two degrees in five years. But there are so many questions that I do not have answers to. Do plants listen to each other? Do plants talk to each other? Do they fight? Can they be friends with each other like Trini was mine? Jessie went many places in search of answers. From New Delhi, she went to New York and back to New Delhi. Sadly, the answers were nowhere to be found until she went to France. That was where she heard a story. A lonely mustard plant could not grow properly under stress. It was small, sick and sad when the temperature was too high or too low or when the light was too bright or too dim or when the soil was too sandy. But when the mustard plant had a friend nearby, another mustard plant, they both grew tall, green and happy. The mustard plants were helping each other. Alone they were weak, together they were strong. They helped each other, like Trini helped little birds and squirrels. They protected each other, like Trini protected younger plants from harsh sunlight. But Jashi still had more questions than answers. Why do plants help each other? How do plants help each other? Jashi thought and thought and thought. She read and read and read. She spoke to people, helpful and unhelpful, but nobody had answers. Luckily for Jashi, mustard plants were fun to work with. Growing them was not difficult and she needed only one simple tool. A paper clip. Jashi used a paper clip to sow 4000 tiny seeds one at a time. She did this whole exercise many 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 times. But she didn't get all the answers all the time. She failed and failed and failed. She failed 21 times. Jashi had more worries. Humans are not always as helpful as mustard plants. She was often told wrong and unkind things. Indians cannot do science. Women cannot do science. Stop bugging me, Jashi thought, and she carried on with her work. Finally, Jashi succeeded. Oh yes, I have found it. She found that plants helped each other all the time. She found that some mustard plants helped only similar mustard plants. Other mustard plants helped mustard plants that were not so similar. As Jashi knew, exciting answers always led to more questions. That's curious. Why would some plants do one thing and others do something else? Why can't all plants help each other in the same way? She found that plants which grew with strangers learned to help those strangers. This behavior is shaped over many many years by another curious thing called evolution. Jashi thought, imagine if we could find out which seeds to grow together so that they help each other. Wouldn't that be fantastic? we could produce so many seeds in so little time with much less money but what seeds grow together how should they be grown then there are other questions too are plants smart how smart are they jessie is on a journey to find these answers in the meanwhile she learns every day from her helpful plants if only humans helped each other more the world would be such a wonderful place What did you learn from plants today?